Welcome to part 11 in my series on drum kit ergonomics. Today we're talking about the kit of Hannes Grossmann, a German extreme metal drummer. And just a side note, I said that Thomas Lang was from Germany. He's actually from Austria. Someone corrected me and they were right. Hannes endorses Meinl and Tama. Um, he's played with Obscura and Necrophagist or Necrophagist, however you want to say that. Um, he's got a DVD out, Progressive Concepts for Modern Metal, and a book called Extreme Metal Drumming, and he plays with Blotted Science right now. So Hannes Grossman is different than all the other drummers we've looked at throughout this series because he's the only true metal drummer. Uh, Thomas Lang plays double kick, but he's more of a progressive kind of session clinic guy. Um, everyone else played single kick, as far as I can recall. Um, they might have had double pedals, but they're fusion players, they're funk players, they don't use it all the time. Hannes, being a metal drummer, uses his two kick pedals all the time. He's got two bass drums, and that is what he has prioritized. And of course, his bass drum pedals are right on the arc, they're perfectly placed. Um, his hi-hat to the left is a little bit off, but he doesn't play that pedal very much, so it uh, doesn't matter, he's prioritized the kick pedal. And the other hi-hat, he never plays that pedal, it's not intended to be stepped on at any point in time, so it's kind of irrelevant over there. Um, you can see he's got four toms, but three of them are rack toms because he doesn't want to wrap anything around behind the throne ever. Uh, basically, he plays too fast, too often to have to reach for anything or twist for anything. Everything's got to be in front of him. So you'll notice everything is laid out nicely in a way that he can reach it without twisting or hardly, in fact, moving his hands at all because that would just slow him down. He's got a couple octobons to the left, eight and nine there. B is his hi-hat. H is his ride. You can see they're symmetrical and as close sort of to the snare as he could get them um, on this kit. Uh, his crashes are sort of arced around that and they're really easy to get to. A bunch of effects symbols sprinkled in there. You can see in this picture all of his symbols are below head height. All of his toms are relatively low and again that just facilitates getting to them quickly um, and not having to reach for anything. Nothing here is for show. It's all functional and it works out well.